captain's log and somebody told me the captain's log is in here. I'm gonna go check it out. They lied to me, there ain't no log in here. Unless somebody plucked it. I got my snorkeling equipment out. I'm gonna go snorkeling and I'm gonna catch me a giant octopusy. I can't get this snorkel thing in my mouth. Forget about it, I'm just going on that rail. <laughs> All right, octopus, here I come. Go get him, sir. Good sleep, good sleep. What's this? The maid must have left it. Sexiest man alive contest. That's me. I'm the sexiest man alive. I want to win that contest. I better go and get ready.
Silence! This is Dinner! This is Dinner! Carol Dackle here, fresh off of vacation. I hope you like my little vacation video in the opening because I really needed it. But back to business, today we're going to cover on how to change the PTO cables on two different tractors. John Deere L Series, 100 L Series tractor and Craftsman LT1000. And I got the cables right here. Now, the hardest part about changing these cables is this little end here. Getting this booger off. Can you zoom in on that Mr. Cameraman? This is the hardest part is squeezing those tabs and pulling this cable off. But you know what? Terrell being crafty devil that I am made a tool that you can make. Here's the tool. Made out of a piece of half inch copper tubing. Got a little cut in there I cut with a hacksaw. See that? That's cut about three quarters of an inch down. And then I squished it, made it kind of egg-shaped. And I'm going to show you how this tool works, and you're going to go, that Terrell's a genius again. You don't have to buy this tool, you can make it. The slide is to go over the cable. Then you slide it on over those, those two tits that are sticking out. And then when you turn it, it squeezes the tits. And then you can pull it out of that bracket. See how simple that is? You're like, Terrell's a genius! Yes, I am. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to show you how to change these cables now using that tool. All right, look up the specific tractor that you're working on to get the cable part number. Because I don't want to give you the part number and give you the wrong part number. But this one's real simple to change on the John Deere. See, there's a spring that just hooks in with a washer. So you just undo the spring. Undo to take the washer off and you pull this off. Now you're going to take my crafty tool, stick it over the cable, give it a spin. Look at that, came right out. Pop right out. Woo! Popped out that quick. Now they put a little plastic push pin in here to hold this, but they don't give you a new one with the cable. They should give you a new one of these. So write John Deere and say, give me a new one of those pins. Now, you might wreck it, you might not, you might be able to use that over again, but if not, you'll have to put a, a nut and a bolt in there. Pull the cable out from there, follow it down. They got this one routed through this here. Can you see that cameraman? Now over here you just pull this pin and it just comes out of the slot. Now make sure you know that the spring and everything all runs underneath this arm and this cable and this uh, belt. And then you just unhook it from that hole in that bracket. Now the cable's off. Now you install a new one. Now another thing I want to touch on, see this bracket? It's got slots in it and bolt holes. So you can loosen them bolts and you can adjust this bracket. So if you get play in your cable, cause it's gonna stretch over time, and you notice that your, your belt ain't as tight as it was, you can adjust some of that slack out of that cable by moving this bracket back. Some people don't know that, but you can. All right, so slide in the new cable with the spring. And you wanna go in from underneath. Put the cable in, in the slot here, and then get your hitch pin. Put that in, now that's locked in. Now we're gonna route the cable back up. All right, these are two of the cable holders that they use on this John Deere, and a lot of times these things fail or they wear out. So we're not even gonna use them. We're gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna use zip ties. So first thing you wanna do is route this cable over the top of the brake pedal here. And then that's where that push pin went in. So I'm just going to use a zip tie. And 
then back here too, where that other one was. There's a hole for it. Just put a zip tie in there if you if you have to, because you want to secure this table. Bring the cable up, push it into that hole, put the end of the cable on that pin, put the washer on, and then hook the spring on it, and there's your dinner. There's that clutch engagement cable all hooked up. Now we're going to time stamp this video so you'll know when to go to the LT1000 Craftsman in case that's the tractor you have and we're going to put that cable on next. Alright on the Craftsman this cable comes in a kit and again look up your specific model lawnmower and make sure that you get the right cable for it. But for this LT1000 this is the kit it takes. And it's got instructions, and unlike the, the John Deere one, it's got extra parts. This bolt, which a lot of times, this bolt will be wore from that spring. So check this bolt. If this bolt is wore, then you're going to have to replace it. You got to take the lawnmower deck off. You got to pull off all that pulley assembly and everything. To replace this bolt. If your bolt is good and it's not war here, then don't don't replace it. It'll just be easier to replace the cable. And they give you a zip tie to secure it too. Alright, this one's a lot trickier and a lot more involved than the than that John Deere one we just covered. On this one, sometimes the battery's under here, like on this tractor, the battery was under here, so you gotta take the battery out. Sometimes the gas tank's under here, so you gotta take the gas tank out. Now look at where this cable is. It's buried way in the back. Now that's where Terrell's tool comes in very valuable because that's going to make it easy to pinch that and get that out. Unless you just want to cut it out of there. And then this end, this just pops off. See how this end is? This end just fits over a little stud on that rod. So when you want to take it off or put it on, you're just going to pull it off towards you. See, you just pull it off, pop it off. Now we're going to use my tool to take the cable off. I got the tool on there, I just got to turn it and pull the cable out. There's your dinner. Now you can see that cable goes down through that hole down there. And that's the same hole you're going to bring the new cable up through. So make sure you remember that hole down there. There's a zip tie they give you. So make sure you remember it goes in that hole in the middle. Cut that off. And then there's that pin. Pull that pin. And there's a little plastic keeper on the front. And got that off there. Now we're going to take this off for video purposes only. But you can leave that on. So you can see the top of the pulley. All right, this end just got a quick pin on it and a washer. And here's that bolt they give you. Now see, this bolt's pretty worn. Now that you got to make the decision if you want to replace that bolt, go through all the trouble of pulling the deck, or just put the cable on, just replace that bolt later. But hang on to that bolt, don't throw it away. So now all we got to do is put the new cable on. All right, now you got to kind of feel with the hole and feed the, feed the cable up through there. Now, you got a choice. There looks like there was a switch or something that went in there. That's an open hole. You might want to run it through there to give it more of a straight shot to this bracket. Or you can run it the way they had it just to the outside. So make sure this plastic thing is up. Put it through the slot. Again, there's going to be a lot of feeling around. You're going to have to do this blind. And then push that cable up in there. Now you're going to hook this on. Now remember it don't snap on, it slides over that pin and then you push it down to snap it in. See I pushed on and it clicked in. Now this end's all hooked up. Now you can go down underneath and we'll hook up the other end. 
All right, now I got the cable fished through that hole and I kept it all the way to the right side of the tractor, that cable, keep that in mind. And another thing, I don't know if I mentioned it, got to have the lawnmower deck all the way down, that helps too. So now fish this through. Now you got this little keeper that slides over and then you put that pin in to hold that cable in place. That's the only tricky part, getting that pin back in. Come on. All right. Now hook this over the pin for the mower deck and then put your flat washer and again this bracket's going to be in the way we took it out of the way so you could see it so again you're going to have to feel around put the pin in so now you got the spring and the washer and the pin and then take your zip tie and go to the third you know the hole in the middle of these three and put your zip tie on Hold that cable in place. All right, got cable on, working. And there's your dinner on that cable. So make sure to watch more of my videos on this YouTube channel.